<laughs> that was pretty funny. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I didn't like even press the live thing and it started going live and it's like me like fooling with it. Um, so fun for you guys if you got to see that. <laughs> um, but I wanted to make like a really short video on like creating and putting together a life purpose statement. And I would say this is not for you if you're like, I, well, if you don't care about purpose, not for you. If you like don't know anything about your life purpose, I'd say probably also not for you. But this is more for people that they like have some kind of like sense of purpose and it's important to them and almost like the puzzle pieces are there, but they would like to have some type of statement that like kind of grounds them and roots them in that energy of what their purpose is all about. And what I really love about life purpose statements is that there's like a certain kind of energy to them. They're really brief. They're like one sentence or a few words and it brings you back to that place of purpose when you're feeling like a little lost, a little bit stuck um, because purpose is actually really useful for like driving us forward and helping us to keep going um, when we feel that way and it allows us to remember like why we're doing whatever it is that we're doing in the first place so um, this is just something that I just wanted to get out there like there's obviously a lot of ways to do it, but this is one structure that might work really well if you're wanting to create one. Um, if your purpose is really vague right now, I know the majority of people that I talk to, they'll say like, well, it's my purpose to help people. If it's something like that, um, or just like one word that's, that's more general, I would definitely encourage you to do like a little bit of journaling and get more specific on who it is like exactly that you want to help? What impact do you want to see? What group of people do you feel like most connected to helping? What are the gifts that you're that you're bringing that only you uniquely could bring to that relationship? Um, and just see what comes up, but dedicate a little bit of your time to just exploring that and making it like more specific because you're, and pay attention, your body's gonna know with me, like I feel this like thing in my heart, like my chest just like lights up when I'm there. So make sure that it's not just coming from logical mind, but you're really like allowing your senses, your intuition to be there <laughs> during that process as well, whether it's journaling or meditation. Um, so once you have these different pieces of the puzzle, I would say um, you could either do this like with somebody like and have a conversation with them or just like write down these things, these little puzzle pieces of your purpose um, and just start to see like who it is that you have to be to make that type of impact happen. Um, and I'll just kind of Tarantino it right now for like what the structure is going to look like um, by sharing what my purpose is and it's the same type of structure that I use with a lot of my clients of having like who you're being and then the impact that you're having so these two parts and usually the who you're being like a lot of people like to have like a metaphor because it paints just the picture so beautifully um, but mine is like I am the guide that lights the path towards purpose and prosperity for women so it's something that's like really clear about who it is that I help and how I'm helping them right like I'm not just like solving it all but I'm kind of there next to them like holding this light kind of shining the light on these different places so um, it doesn't have to mean anything to you like my statement probably sounds like it doesn't mean anything to you. It only has to, um, or backwards, it doesn't have to mean anything to anybody else but to you. And it should have something that just like brings you to a certain energy, like maybe there's some type of symbolism of who you're being in that metaphor. Um, but get to that point, like, and see like um, what you're doing in the world, how you're doing it, who you have to be to make that happen, who you want to be, who you want to grow into to make that happen, and just um, start to like put all these pieces together and get to that statement. And this part's important. This statement, mind changes all the time. It does not have to be like this final draft where you're gonna put all this pressure on yourself to make it perfect. 
just start with something and as you continue to go down your path in life and you're learning more things, you can change it, you can edit it, you can do whatever the hell you want with it. Um, I think just having a simple sentence that kind of roots you down into who you're being and the impact that you're having that brings you back to that place that's simply like the, the most important part and then put it up like on a bulletin board, on your journal, um, maybe like make like a little graphic and have it on your phone, but would love to hear from you if you guys do end up doing this, like what you come up with. Um, and if you're having trouble with it, um, I am open to helping you with it as well. I don't really talk about it all the time, but I do offer just a handful of sessions like for 30 minutes, one-on-one, -on -one, no obligation for people that wanna do a little bit of discovery and life purpose is certainly a topic that we could work on. So I hope you have fun and I hope you let in like all the creative parts of yourself to do this rather than just your mind. So thanks everyone. As I awkwardly shut this off, don't mind me.